All right. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as in the last video. That's because I recorded the last video literally two seconds ago. I saw this on my recommended, and it, I, I wanted to watch it. And you guys must be thinking, like, why, why all these React videos all of a sudden? And to be quite honest, games suck right now. And everyone else could agree. So, uh, you know, there's really not much I could do other than React. But I kind of like reacting to videos. Like, it's just, it's a fun, you know, we get to, we get, me and you get to watch the video together. Like, we get to give our, uh, our, and, and just have, and just have a good time. You know, $25 million mansion off the grid in Utah. Like, come on, Let, let's, let's check this out already a peaceful beginning like you can't beat oh, you cannot beat this look at that that's beautiful i'm sold already i'm slapping all the cash right on the table what's up everybody it's anis here and welcome to woodland hell yeah my uh, boy checking out the stunning estate right behind me that was designed from ground up to be this totally off-grid property oh yeah it can produce its own water own electricity water house features six bedrooms six full baths one half bath 12,377 square feet of interior space built on a 49.11 acre lot and it is currently on the market for 25.9 million dollars as always we will be telling you about this listing in the description of this video so make sure to check that out and i want to give big thanks to the listing agents thomas wright and carrie allman for allowing us to well, miss and worry this thing and share it with all of you and now let's begin our tour They use a helicopter to get out there. That's how you know that shit is deep. Oh yeah. I like this. Not a fan of the bathtub, but I like this. That's really nice. Gonna Not gonna lie. All right. Here we are at the entry, Glass Pivot Thor. Welcome to you into this amazing space. This is the that looks nuts. We have tall ceilings, skylights bring in natural light. All these windows on each side, and right in front of me, we have walls of glass facing. I like it, but again, it doesn't feel homey. Like it doesn't feel like a home. Like it's just too much. I feel like. All right, let's continue. We have the family room right in front of us. Nice I don't like the couch. Sectional couch. I don't like it. So comfortable, so cozy. Coffee table in the center. Of course, you have your stone fireplace here. Leather couch, not it. Goes all the way to the ceiling. You not have it. Mounted TV here and walls of glass facing these incredible views. Bring us to the first part of the kitchen. I say first part because kitchen is divided into two sections. We have the first island here, a little bit raised with the leg design, which makes the space feel a little bit more open. I like the countertops. This is actually dolomite stone, which is between a marble and a corset countertop. Looks great. Four picture windows facing the views, wood clad ceilings, and we have the first section of the base cabinet. What's in here. the ice maker, two fridges, that orange juice? pop up plugs, and we love these. I don't know what that is. It looks like orange juice. Almost serves as your first dining area because you have the bar seating. And continuing this way, we have the main section of the kitchen, island in the center, farmhouse sink, two dishwashers, and I gotta talk about this waterworks faucet. It looks awesome. It looks like a piece of equipment that came out of a submarine with the handles and valves, and this is awesome. Yeah, very steampunk almost. It's really cool. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Beautiful countertops. Book match in the center and coming this way we have this section that was built out of brick that's pretty cool also lime wash which looks really rusty that's pretty cool and in the center of that we have a blue star eight burner gas stove with brass details this section looks great and continuing our tour we have more base cabinets here espresso maker microwave warming drawer your paneled fridge fridge and your freezers down below damn and we have this beautiful cabinetry here and this 
butcher block detail at the end of the islands. It looks awesome. That reminds me, I want to give big credit to Bond Design Company who handled the remodel and the design elements on the interior. I think they did a phenomenal job with this house. Now, that's it for this section of the kitchen. Coming Yo, here, that, we have the oh, that's so nice. Area. That's so Super nice. Super cozy, table in the center, built-in seating, windows looking out the views, sections that comes with Absolutely. the building. And coming here, we are actually in the living room area of the main cabin that was originally here. They restored it beautifully and blended with the new home. And you have a nice seating area in the center, fireplace on our right-hand side, covered with the same stack stone that we've been seeing throughout. And look at all the woodworking details here. This space is phenomenal. Super cozy. Ooh. They left the log walls exposed, which gives you this, again, rustic cabin feel. Window facing the front of the home wood glass ceilings, closet, and I want to point out another detail. We have a lot of split AC units throughout this property because when you build your exterior walls out of logs, you actually don't have any space or attic space to run AC lines or AC ducts. That's why split units comes really handy. And on top of that, since it's such a big estate, it's really nice that you can control the temperature however you like in each one of the rooms. Now, we have a full-size bathroom here shared by these two bedrooms that we're about to tour. We toured the first one and it's just a gorgeous bathroom. You have the reclaimed wood cabinetry for the vanity, quartzite countertops, stone back wall, your walk-in shower, beautiful mosaic tiles on the floor, and you have a cast iron freestanding tub. And I mean, just look at all these details and finishes, your tub filler, all these cozy small windows facing the front, you have the logs, you have the textures. It's pretty awesome. This door opens up to the second bedroom we have on the swing. Pretty similar to the one we toured earlier. Exposed log walls in the back, cozy bed setup, your closet, everything you need. We're closer to the vaulted beam ceilings and look at all the textures. And I would have banged my floor. noggin on one of those things. A small game table here, window facing the front. <sighs> another small seating area and we have an exterior door opening up to a deck that way you have an easy access to the outdoors on the second floor and just enjoy the amazing views that that's you pretty have nice pretty much throughout primary bedroom suite for the old cabin super super cozy i love how close we are to the roof line and these beams we have the king size bed here door on my right hand side opens up to a small deck dedicated for the primary bedroom suite here cozy seating area windows look out the views really cool light fixture above recessed lights all that good stuff you have the fireplace here and continuing our tour this is the walk-in closet and we have this barn door opening up to the bathroom reclaimed wood cabinetry looks so authentic and charming we have corset countertops concrete sinks brass fixtures mosaic back wall and coming this here, definitely this, this house definitely looks better from the outside in the thumbnail standing tub that they had to forklift here because it's super heavy, but it really complements the space and really takes advantage of this cozy window that we have here. Skylight above, your walk-in shower, pretty awesome bathroom. A tour later. Oh! No. Space. I'm just blown away by the ceiling heights, exposed beams and columns. Damn! And just so much character in this house. It's almost hard to explain. It's just everywhere you look, you see different textures, colors, palettes, and you have your king size bed here. Kind of an open concept primary bedroom suite, beautiful hardwood floors. You have sliding glass doors opening up to the backyard, accordion doors on this side opening up to the side of the property. And we're actually located right above the garage that's located on the lower level. So it's kind of facing the side of the home, super private. You have the forest right in front of you and just this incredible scenic view. It's, it's amazing. Now, <sighs> on our right hand side, we have the walk in shower marble clad all around you have marble mosaic that shower floor, is as nice well as the ceiling and look at all the fixtures mikey can we get a close-up this bathroom this walk-in shower come on mikey absolutely gorgeous your handheld your shower head your rain head your body sprays steam detail and uh you have a built-in bench absolutely gorgeous so timeless and on the other side we have the double vanity copper sinks again waterworks faucets and you have your polished chrome mirrors, wall sconces, too much back wall, in my opinion. Cabinetry. It's a nice open bathroom design. And on the back, we have the walk in closet. 
It's definitely good size, but it's not the biggest closet. And if you want to add more space, you can definitely utilize the second floor loft. In fact, let's go check that out next. This space is super cool. Currently stays as a seating area and the office. We have all these windows looking outside. You have different view corridors everywhere you look, closer to the roof line, textures, details, exposed beams. It's an awesome space. And like I mentioned earlier, you can easily close this off, make it a secondary walk-in closet. Now, this space comes with two outdoor terraces. First one is right here, located right next to the great room off of the entry. And coming this way, we have this bridge taking us to another outdoor terrace facing the backyard. In fact, let's go have a look. I mean, look at these views. This place is so gorgeous, so naturally beautiful. We have a private- I agree, pond. but- Look at it on the lower level. You have your own stream that runs through the property and view is just breathtaking. View is just outstanding. On to the spa? I don't know what this is, but it looks very like, that doesn't look like a spa, but. Oh, hell yeah. At the lower floor landing, beautiful flex. Yo, can I just buy the basement? It opens up the three car garage that's located on the lower level. You have a nice seating area underneath the staircase. And this opening takes us to the screening room on the left hand side and your indoor hot tub on the right hand side. Dude. This place is awesome. Yeah, this is uh, really nice. I would not expect there to be a pool right here across from your movie theater. Well, you have accordion glass doors opening up, so you have basically this entire space open. Yes, it's an oversized spa. By the way, it has an electric cover as well. That way you can retain the heat here very easily. You have wood look tile on the back, and on the other side you have your screening room, and in between you have this awesome bar with sink, fridge, this place is perfect for entertainment. I feel like I would come down here all the time. In the screening room, you have oak paneling all around. The I would literally just buy the basement. Terrace. Can I do that? The stitching looks so retro, Please? so timeless. And the seating right here is super unique because it's actually sunk in. A lot of times when we see these screening rooms or movie theaters, it will start off on the floor level and it will eventually go up. Instead, they actually made the first row sunk in and developers told us that this is the spot to lay down, relax and watch TV. And I totally agree. Is it comfortable? It is super comfortable. That was it's not comfortable. Steinway surrounded. No by shot. Spot. Pretty awesome spot. And guess better. No shot. Mike, I know you know this, so let's show it to everyone. We love a good secret room. That's right. Come on in. This house has a secret safe room. It has this super cool Fort Knox wool door that opens up. It's not like the ones that we've seen on other It's like the vault in Fortnite. This one's actually really spacious, ton of cabinetry. You have a TV, split air conditioning unit, and around the corner has a half bathroom with a vanity. Pretty awesome. It even has a fridge. I mean, everything you need. Have a full bathroom here. Think about this Damn. bathroom as your spa bathroom. Open walk-in shower with three shower heads. That three. Three people can shower at the same time. Oh, Put dub. W. Back. You have your reclaimed vanity here with a concrete sink that I personally love. Fixtures look great. You have reclaimed wood all around the bathroom, including the ceilings, your water closet. Pretty cool bathroom. Super spacious room, queen bed. I will buy the basement. Carpet on the floors. Definitely a very, very cozy room. Comes with a fireplace, TV. And around the corner, of course, you have a full bathroom with beautiful finishes. Nah, I will actually buy this whole basement. It's even better, in my opinion. Starts here. This is the bunk room, and it's so cool. Dude, the whole setup here. who's trying to move it's in with me? Biggest or the most impressive bunk rooms we've ever seen on the That's so house. sick. And it's just awesome. I mean, you have a king size bed here, single on top, built in seating area with an egress access. Then you have two more singles, two fulls here. I'm out of words. I mean, what a fun room. You have a seating area, TV, reclaimed wood pretty much all around. Pretty awesome. And that's comes sick. With a really spacious bathroom. Let's go have a look. We have the walk in shower here with the glazed tiles. That's sick. Two water closets. That's a sick and shower. Brockway sink with two faucets, beautiful finishes, walk in closet. And this is the bunk room. Now, fun part. I want to take everybody back to the hallway so we can go check out the laundry room. You said fun it's part so fun and then here. laundry room, bro. Stack washer and dryer, cabinetry. We have a few utility closets here behind these doors. But more importantly, we have this door opening up to this crazy 
long tunnel that takes us all the way to the detached guest home. It is designed with the reclaimed wood on the ceiling. Yo, the put like a scooter down there so you don't gotta walk that whole thing. Captured the Utah mining heritage. It's That's awesome. sick though. This is the guest home. It's an awesome open space, perfect for entertainment. We have the billiards table here, bar seating on this. Who's trying to get cooked? I will pool. cook everyone in pool. Deck, foosball table. And this part actually comes with a full bathroom, which starts right here. You have your walk-in shower, vanity, window facing the back. And the reason they have a full bathroom here, if you're entertaining, you don't want to go to the main estate. And on top of that, you can easily convert this space into few bedrooms and make it a proper guest home rather than this entertainment space. And you have more of these outstanding views. We have the main estate right in front of us. This is just awesome. I love how they designed the home where you utilize outdoor spaces as much as possible from every single room. And we're at the guest home deck right here. Now that wraps our tour for this incredible property. But of course, we're going to spend a few more hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at dusk. Yeah, let's see it at, at, at nighttime. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to be like that last house that we that we watched. Yeah. Yeah, it looks better at night. Definitely looks better at night. Still not a fan though. Still not a fan. I'm not a fan. I, I, I said it in the video. I, if I could buy the basement and the guest house, I would just do that. I don't need anything else. The, I, I think the basement, the basement alone, not even the guest house, the basement alone is way better than the actual house. Personally, I like I'm gonna give them separate ratings. So I rate this house like a four But the basement I rate like a seven the basement gets a higher rating than the last house that we fucking reacted to That's crazy. So guest house four or five basement seven and actual house four Give me your guys's rating for the house. I think everyone's gonna agree with me that the basement is like the best part of the house um, Usually it's not but in this case it is uh, yeah Give me your ratings. Let me know what you guys thought about the video Tell me what you liked and disliked from the house and I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.